guys, thanks for tuning in again. So today we're making lean lamb moussaka with Moroccan seasoning. So what I need to do first is get the lamb steaks and just cut any fat off it. I also like to incorporate one bit of lamb with a little bit of bone on it. It just gives the dish extra flavor. Okay, so now we've removed all the fat off our lamb, we're going to drizzle some olive oil over the lamb and add some salt and pepper, make sure it's all coated. Then we take the inside part of the slow cooker over to the stove and put it on high heat for we're going to sear the lamb on both sides just to get a nice coating on the outside and keep the juices in for when we're slow cooking. I also like to get my little vegetta mix ready. I just mix one teaspoon of vegetta with water. So when the onion's cooking, if it starts to get brown too quickly, I like to add the liquid in and it just stops it from getting the brown burnt bits on the bottom. Don't let the lamb cook too long. We're just searing and getting a little bit of brown on there. Get a clean dish and then put your lamb into that separate container. Okay, now put it back into our slow cooker, put the lid on and cook on slow for about three and a half to four hours. Okay, hi guys, we're ready for stage two. So what I've done is turn the oven on to 180 degrees just to preheat it. Now I'm going to line my baking trays with baking paper and start cutting up our vegetables. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so we're gonna to have to do this in two batches so we can fit all our vegetables. So I've just laid them on there like that. Spray olive oil. Lemon juice. Fresh oregano. Salt and pepper. Okay, so now we're going to pop that in the oven. Got up your other capskin. Pour it back in. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to layer our vegetables almost like a lasagna. So we don't want any gaps. I like to put the eggplant down first because they're the largest sort of area in their circles. And then I just fit the bits of capsicum and zucchini in between.
guys, so this next step is actually optional. You don't have to, but it does make it taste that next level. But <laughs> if you don't wanna have the cheesy topping on top, it tastes just as nice like that. But today I'm going to make a creamy topping. So first I'm putting in of a lactose-free Jana yogurt. Okay, just for your sake for measuring, I don't usually measure, but um, I'm gonna put 350 ml of the yogurt in. Then we're going to mix in the corn flour. And then mix it up. Then we need to grate up our cheese. I use a lactose free cheese. Then we need two eggs. And whisk it in. Okay, then we pour it on top of our mixture. Then we put on our parsley, some pepper. Okay, and now it just goes back in the oven. Yum! Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video and please remember to like it on YouTube if you like it and you can subscribe if you really want to because it's free. Okay, thank you.